it's Kevin from Jet Shades. We are here about to do our very first RV7. Yep, we have a brand new product for the RV product line, and we have a product that we're gonna put in it. Sure, Jet Shades, let's see how it goes. Okay, so the tape that comes with your kit is seven eighths of an inch wide, which is the perfect dimension you need to fit this inside diameter right here. The clips are also one inch long, so if you just clip the tape about one inch or just under an inch long, you'll have the perfect shape. Hey, here's our set. We've applied the tape to it. And a little tip here, we've peeled back the corner while we're sitting in this nice air-conditioned room, and then we'll mix it easier when we go out to the plane. We can quickly pull this off and stick it to the structural tubing. And don't forget to always wipe your structural tubing with alcohol pad. The alcohol pads are provided. Clean it good where the clips are going to go. So orientating and positioning the clips onto this. So we're going to use two clips on the main structural tubing up there. Okay. And one clip is going to be pretty close to the center beam, right about the handle where the edge of the handle is right there. You can see up there. And then the second clip will be down along that beam right before uh, the screw that's up top. You can see it. We're a couple of screws away from the center beam. It's going to go right down there. Now let's cover the orientation. The clips actually have, they're off-centered. So if you see them, the actual U channel part of it is going to be facing the top or the, the, or the canopy side. Don't put them on upside down. They're going to go. This is not good. That's not good right there. That's upside down. We'll put your thumb there. Yeah, that's upside down. That's the wrong way. And this is the correct way to do it. So there you go. That's how you locate the uh, head one clips onto the uh, head of board of the structural tubing. To peel back that uh, backing paper off that really sticky stuff, position it up there, and then press it on and just hold it for a little bit till it takes a set. About 30 seconds to take a set and you're good to go. There's our first clip um, mounted up just like that. The second one, we're going to mount that one up there. We've got it at the right orientation. Just push it up, press it, hold it for about 30 seconds, and we are good to go. Position the ones along the long structural tubing piece, the biggest piece. If you notice this handle right here, that's a good reference. Put the first clip right there. The next clip is going to go about 10 inches back from there. Then another clip is going to go 10 inches back. And then finally, the one will come right in front of this handle here. Now, if you happen to have this fabric pull cover, the nice thing is the jet shades will not interfere with this. And you can use it as a reference. You can see that the end of the uh, rail is right up there. And that's a good reference where you put the first clip. And again, you can put the second clip about 10 inches back. And the clips will not interfere with the rail that moves that fabric shade up and down. So you can keep that and get some additional protection. First two clips installed, and notice the orientation where we have the U up towards uh, the canopy, and that's how it looks. And the rear one's gonna sneak in from behind the canopy, and a pair of needle nose uh, pliers can help you with this, but you're just gonna go in there and stick it up against that center beam right around where the handle uh, hits that center beam. Closing the canopy on this last one makes it really easy. We're gonna slide it about 10 inches up from the handle from the back and just gonna stick it to the center beam right there. Notice it falls right behind where that fabric shade is as well as a reference. Okay, we're ready to put the main shade on. If you notice the main chain has these, these kind of score lines on it, each one being about the eighth of an inch. The reason for that is when the RV, we never knew where that center beam was gonna be. So we actually oversized this by a good inch. So what we're gonna do is put the main shade in. These are scribe marks, just help you make a, you know, you can say, okay, this line lines up with this line, I can scribe it and cut it. So it's just ease of installation. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rubber trim on, leaving enough of it to kind of go over like halfway. And I'm gonna over halfway. And I'm gonna work my way and just put the rubber trim on just simply by bending it and putting it all the way around the shade. Then I'm gonna install the shade and then I'm gonna trim this part right here to get it to fit, put in the clip. All right, now we're ready for our main shade. And what I've done, is I put the trim, and I've noticed I left it off here and here because we may have to trim this area. And what we do is get behind it, and notice we've collapsed the cover shade if you have one. Um, if you do want to take off the fabric, it makes it a little easier, but you can still slide it in. So we're gonna come up like this, and we're gonna make sure we go above the cover shade like that. And we're gonna just get it in a rough position. And there we go. Now when we get it like that, 
The next step is we're going to get inside the plane and put it into the clips. All right, so this will take a little time. Just have a little patience. We're just going to bring it up, push it into the clips here and here, and then kind of slide it into the forward clips. And that should hold it all in place. Whoops, like I said, have patience. <laughs> because sometimes it just takes a little bit to get it all in the right position. But once it's in, well, it's in. You can still remove it if you want to, but most likely you won't. All right. I'm gonna get in the cockpit and secure this all the way around, including the rear. All right, just pull it up here to make it all the way in there. Maybe it's in the sides. Okay, now that we have the shade in, what we want is we want this to have tension so it forms a bow going all the way up. Now. We happen to give this one a little extra material. And look at that. It still fits right in, just like that. So we don't have to trim this one. If you need to, that's where you would trim it. So what I'm gonna do is pull it out, put the trim around it, and then I'm gonna put an L clip there to put it in place. And look at how it fastens up here. It's all secure. And I'm already underneath it. It feels a lot better. All right, so the next one is to put this L clip in. It's easy to do from out here. What you're gonna do is, I don't know if you can kinda of see it here, but you're gonna push this in this way. So this hits the, butt of the trim and the jet shade is going to sit right down in here and then this is going to stick to the base and so with that I'm just going to lift up the jet shade a little bit but come over here and see if you can zoom st straight down into it so I'll put the jet shade up into it put the L clip up on the trim and patience and we get it like that so now we made a nice little lip the jet shade to sit into and that's going to keep that jet shade from coming out just like that pinching it and kind of holding it right against those nuts that were here those screws and that's it and that's all secured in there so we've got it secured you want to check the security okay so the last thing we want is the jet shade to come loose during flight or fall down into a front of a pilot so what we're going to do is put a little security on there and to do that we're going to put a piece of velcro on the metal here and a piece of velcro on the shade and then we're going to bridge the piece with another piece of velcro we call it a velcro bridge um, these are quite effective, so all you have to do is cut this Velcro down to about, oh, just about an inch. Put a square, I already cleaned this uh, area, so you're just going to put a square of Velcro right there. All right, and you're going to take off the mating half because you won't need that. So we got a male side sticking there, and we're going to need another male side sticking to it. So we'll cut and get another piece of male Velcro, a little square like that. And this is pretty important, so don't skip this step thinking you're done once you've got the, uh, the shade installed. Safety is super, super important, as we know, when we fly. So we're going to put the other piece of mail right up there. I'm going to peel okay, the, the female away from it. So now what we have is two male pieces of Velcro. And then we're just going to take the female side. And you don't have to peel this backing off. You're just going to bridge it like this put that one on that and that one on that and that'll keep that jet shade from going anywhere is it it's an extra little security to keep that jet shade from sliding back in flight like let's say you open the slider and the kit and the propellers going you don't want this jet shade blowing back and then of course you can just trim off the excess velcro and it just stays like that so a little security strap with the velcro does wonders for safety all right, here's our pilot. He's gonna do his first experience with his jet shade. He's never done it before. And now he's in. Oh, wow. And he gets the, oh wow, do I get the thumbs up? Absolutely. All right, open it up again so I can hear you. Now, what do you think of that? Oh, absolutely, wow. It's like uh, like going into the back seat of a limo. <laughs> nice and cool back there yeah, now, Nice huh? and cool, very, very nice. Yeah, well, All enjoy right. your flight home. Send me some pictures. I will. I'm glad we got that one going for you. All right, thank you so much for coming on out here. I All love right. and be on a duty. All right, you're welcome. All right, bye.